morning. What a grim day. It's just so grey and it's kind of moist in the air. Like, it's like that kind of misty rain and it's really gross. I've been at the doctor's this morning for my first blood test since being on azathioprine for a whole week. And hopefully the results are all good and they basically say that um, I'm good on the azathioprine. It's not affecting my liver. It's safe for me to take so I can continue to take it and fingers crossed it basically within six months to a year pushes my colitis into remission and I can become med free after that and hopefully go a significant amount of time without flaring again fingers crossed I've been in a constant flare for over two years now and it sucks it really sucks um, I'm just really lucky that I have it milder than a lot of other people do. So while it affects my life day to day, it doesn't kind of completely stop me from doing some of the things that I would like to do. Whereas other people have it so bad that they need surgery, they're in hospital all the time. And yeah, I'm just really lucky. I need to go to Asda because my fridge is empty. I looked in it this morning and there's a tiny little bit of block of cheese left about that big and some ham that's out of date. And I have nothing else left. <laughs> So, I haven't had breakfast yet. I'm gonna grab something at the cafe in Asda, I think, because I'm pretty starving. Yes, slap on my wrist, I should not have had my blood test taken without eating, but I did drink a lot. I made sure I drank a lot, so I actually feel fine. I don't feel lightheaded or anything. Because I was fully hydrated, so I need to eat as soon as I get to Asda, and then I need to do my shopping. Oh my gosh, it's hot in this car. Let's get this window down. There's now a grass cutter right in front of us, so I will talk to you soon. The grass cutter is so loud. I'm so happy because I have just... Bumps. <laughs> I have just finished my last day at college of the year. I've handed in my portfolio, everything is signed off, and I am... Um, yeah, I am now a fully qualified beautician and makeup artist. I'm just so happy that I've made it through the year. I wasn't off sick too much. I did pretty well grades wise. I got, woo, bumps. I got quite a few distinctions and yeah, I'm just so proud of myself that I came back to college and I am all done. I know it's been quite difficult squeezing in a full-time course into a part-time one. Like we were only in one day a week, but we were doing the exact same level of work as the full-time course. So we had the same amount of assignments, the same amount of uh, written work, the same amount of assessments, and we had to like squeeze them all in, and we had to get our own paying models in. So it has been quite difficult, I have to say. Although it's only level two, the volume of work was quite high. I personally found the written work quite easy because I'm good at written stuff, but the observations, that's what I struggled with because I found it hard to remember all the different bits. So yeah, I'm just really proud of myself. I'm really happy that I did it, and I can now say that I've got a qualification out of it, which is always a good thing. Hello. Hello. Adventurer. Adventurer. How is life? I'm <laughs> really close to you. Ah! Ah! Charlie. Hi, baby. Yay. Hi, everyone. Don't know what on earth Daisy is doing here. What are you trying to do? Get a cuddle. Hmm? Do you just want to cuddle? I have wet hair because I've just been in the bath. It is actually nearly four o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't done a single thing today because I don't know what happened this morning, but I woke up and do you want to go for a wee? I'll let Daisy out for a wee and then I'll come back. <laughs> oh, I actually look disgusting, what the hell? Um, yeah, basically I woke up this morning and I just felt really nauseous. I felt really, really sick, like I was about to vomit and I haven't vomited. And I managed to get up and get breakfast and then I kept getting really weird heart palpitations. Like, um, like my heartbeat was really, really loud and I could feel it thudding. And I kept twitching, like my, my arms would like twitch and my legs would twitch and I just felt really, really weird. And I don't know if it's maybe um, my anxiety playing up or if it's my medication, but I've just felt really like strange all day. I haven't felt like I feel really on edge. I feel like uncomfortable and I just, I feel, I feel really unwell. I don't know how to describe it. I just don't feel good at all. I'm supposed to be going to agility tonight, but I feel quite dizzy as well. So I don't think it would be a good idea to run around. So I'm just glad I'm not at college today. I'm glad this happened today and not yesterday because yesterday I was at college most of the day and trying to sort out my file and stuff to hand it in. Even my acne's flaring up again as well. It's so annoying. 
<sighs> why can't I just go a whole week without feeling unwell at least a couple days a week? <laughs> to be honest, I do think it's a strong possibility that it is my medication. So I have an appointment with my consultant at the hospital on Monday anyway, so I will tell them about how I've been feeling this week. On a better note, we've just had um, a new barbecue delivered and a new tables and chairs to go outside. We're having a new fence put up in a few weeks and we're getting a skip to get rid of like all the old shit that we've got in the garden. So we're having a bit of a garden refurb over the next few weeks, which will be lovely. Especially for the summer, well, the weather that was nice has kind of disappeared now. But hopefully the nice weather will come back and we'll be in the garden a lot more over the summer. Good morning everyone, it's Thursday, it's looking very sunny outside which makes me very happy. My acne is terrible today so I definitely want to do some kind of face mask today. But to start the day, you actually decided my day, I'm filming a video called the Instagram chooses my day tag kind of challenge thing. So I'm going to try and vlog the bits that I don't show in that video because I don't want to give away too much. But basically I asked you if I should go to the gym or if I should have a chill morning. Does anyone else feel super energised after working out? I'm just trying to uh, reverse out of this bay. Like the sad geek that I am, I just saw that there's a raid battle on Pokemon Go nearby so I'm going to quickly do that and then go and get breakfast. Ever since I saw the trailer for the new Pokemon Let's Go um, game coming out on the Switch, I've been obsessed with Pokemon again and I just want to get back into it because you can connect the two and you can like transfer your Pokemon over and stuff. So I, yeah, I'm obsessed again. People are walking past and probably watching me. <laughs> Oh my god, there's such a loud bird outside. What is that? Please stop. I bought these from Superdrug yesterday, but I forgot to show you them. I got the Paulus Face Primer because, as you can see here, yeah, I've opened this out completely um, to try and get every last little bit out. And I needed a new one. And I saw in Superdrug that they had all the sleek stuff on sale for £3. And the woman said that it's because they're discontinuing them. So I got these two matte me lipsticks. I have quite a lot of the matte me lipsticks already and I really, really like them. And I got them in the shade, please focus. I got Apricot Blooms and French Fancy. And I thought they looked really nice and summery and I thought they'd be really lovely. What the hell is going on with my hair? Jesus. Safe to say I'm having a bad hair day today. It's weird, it's like I really struggle to wake up this week. Um. It's almost like I can't wake myself up. I've never had a problem with that. Um, in my whole life, I'm always an early riser. I always wake up as soon as it's like sunny and loud outside. Um, but this week, it's like I wake up and then it's like I drift back into sleep and then I wake up and then I drift back into sleep again. It's really, really strange. So I'm gonna have to mention all of this to my consultant on Monday. Please excuse my hair. <laughs> I also, oh my gosh, this morning I was eating my breakfast and I bit my lip and it was fine. It was just a little bit sore, a little bit swollen. I carried on eating and then I bit it again and it made a horrible bursting noise and then it like bled everywhere and now it's really, really big and really swollen and it keeps hitting off my teeth when I talk. Yeah, it was the noise, of, the noise was so freaky. It just burst and even like my nana was sat on the other sofa and she heard it. So that's painful. <laughs> Some of the roads towards town at the moment are closed until four or five. 
and then because of Ed Sheeran tonight other roads are closed around St James's Park and stuff so it's a bit awkward so that's why we're going in early for the roads that aren't closed get parked grab something to eat and then head to St James's Park I'm gonna vlog as much as I can oh she was not looking there was she she was gonna drive right into your car she can Cheeky. It. yeah Eric's had a spray tan I think you look lovely Hello. Eric thinks he looks orange but I think orange? that's a nice tan it's just because you've got a bit of a red face, naturally, so... What's well, a town plus red equals orange? A little bit. I hope you can see, but there's some of the Bladen race. And where some of the roads are closed. And then look at all of the traffic on the left. I know. Terrible, terrible traffic all the way along. Oh, the bus went right in the way. Woo! God, there's so many. How many people do this? Uh, seven to ten thousand. Ten thousand people. <laughs>
Good morning everyone, it's Sunday and it's so typical, Eric and I have been enjoying the lovely weather or at least we wanted to, it was 21 degrees and so sunny all morning and then we get in the car to go for a walk and it started to chuck it down, absolutely pissing it down, which is very typical. Good afternoon. Good. Did I say morning? Yep. It's afternoon, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Proper fucking it down. Fucking it. Bucketing it. Bucketing in it. How, how do you say that word? Bucketing. 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 What the hell are you doing? Bucketing. <laughs> Hashtag content. <right laughs> Enjoying your picnic. Yeah. Did you just wipe your mouth <laughs> with the cord? No. Use your hands. No. Hey Daisy. Hey Charlie. 